I've got to take this girl out and be a little bit more gentle with her because she is almost gravid, right? So let's go see what she's got going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was not. Whoa. 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 What in the world is going on? Gemma, what are you doing, girl? Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! Did you believe that right now? I have never seen that before. That's that gravidness with her. She's like, yo, walk with me. Let's see if we can get her without getting bit. Come on, girl. Whoa! Woo! That was close. Woo, doggy. Okay, girl, whoa. Woo, she is just on fire right now. I tell you what. Come on, girl. You're okay. That was a close one right there. Whew. I gotta be careful, guys. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Whoa! Come on. Right, get her. She's... Whoa! No. She's not gonna let me get into her. This is Matilda, the Aldalbert tortoise. That's almost 150 pounds, only 16 years old. Believe it or not, this is the longest lived land animal on the planet, the Aldalbert tortoise, living over 200 years, sometimes up to 250 years. Can you imagine that? Matilda, 16 years, still has 200 plus years left to go, and she is absolutely an unbelievably stunning animal. And people ask me all the time, how long do reptiles live? Now one of the shortest lived reptiles that we actually keep, and this girl is a feisty monkey, is actually the veiled chameleons. Females typically only live like four, maybe five years at the most, and males oftentimes only go five to eight years, believe it or not. Now there can be exceptions to rule for everything that we're gonna be talking about today, but definitely this girl is absolutely crazy. What is wrong with you, you silly monkey? She's upset. Maybe that's what's taking years off her life or something like that. She's got to start to calm down and get a little zen, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, chameleons can be amazing, but veiled chameleons are pretty short-lived. Now, not all chameleons are short-lived, to be honest with you. There are some that can live well into their 20s and even older than that. Like, take, for instance, the panther chameleons. They're typically a 10, sometimes even 12, 13, 14-year-old animal, so they can live a lot longer. And then the bigger ones like Mellor's chameleons and Parsons chameleons, can live well into their 20s, sometimes even closer to 30 years old. So not all chameleons are really short-lived. Believe it or not, there's even some species that are shorter-lived than the veiled chameleons. Nevertheless, they are truly amazing animals. Moving on to the next animal that doesn't live as long as I'd like, to be honest with you, because they are so incredible, of course, would be the bearded dragon. You know, the truth is, is typically bearded dragons are probably 10 to 12-year-old animals, although we have Fetty Wap still over at the BHB offices that I think is going in on close to 15 years now, so they can certainly live long and I've heard people that have had them for close to 20 years, but the average lifespan is probably somewhere between 10 and 12 years. Ooh, look at this snake right here. I tell you what, whoa! It's absolutely crazy. Now, most colubra snakes, of course, this is an African egg-eating snake, and uh, it is definitely not happy today. There's no doubt about that. Most colubras are typically maybe a 12 to 15-year animal. Some will get into 20 years. You know, there's no doubt about that. We've had corn snakes and king snakes that have lived 20, 22 years, but a lot of them do live about 12 to 15 years, in all honesty, and the egg-eating snakes are no exception to that. You know, they're an absolutely amazing animal, and that's a generalization, right? I'm trying to give you guys an overall idea of how long these animals live, right? So some snakes can live longer than others, and of course some species of colubrids can live longer than other species of colubrids, but in general speaking, about 12 to 15 years is about the longevity of most colubrids. Keeping in mind, certainly some can live well into their 20s. Moving on to the New Caledonian geckos, and really all of the lychees, the chihuahuas, the crested geckos, so I like that, they make incredible pets. I mean, some of the coolest pets out there, super easy to keep. We know that you don't need that hot spot in there. You can feed Feed them the rapashi or a pangea food, which is super simple to feed. But these guys have some pretty good longevity as well, typically living well into their 20s. I mean, it's not uncommon that these guys go 25, even 30 years. So a lychee gecko, a crested gecko, a chihuahua gecko, a gargoyle gecko are great animals. But keeping in mind, if you're buying one as a pet, you're going to have it for a good 20 plus years. And uh, I tell it, I'm happy about it. As a matter of fact, I wish they lived 50 years because I love these guys so much. You know what's going to live for a long time, by the way? But, and by the way, Welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope this tour today is amazing. Of course, ReptileArmy.com. This is the Halloween drop. It's going to be around for all of October.
October and for beyond that, to be totally honest with you. But I hope that Reptile Army, the movement, will live for many, many decades to come. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. I hope you want to join the Army. Go to ReptileArmy.com. Now, leopard geckos are pretty similar when it comes to the new Caledonia geckos, and they're pretty long-lived well. Definitely 20 plus years. I've had some for over 15 years now, and they're still rolling strong, breeding and everything like that. So a typical leopard gecko is a 20, 25 year old animal. Unlike the new Caledonians, these guys do need heat though, which is really cool. But if you're thinking about a pet lizard, leopard geckos are typically one of the ones that everyone wants because this is about as big as they get. They're very easy to take care of. Again, they do need a little bit of heat, but once you have a really good setup, they absolutely thrive. And like I said, they are bulldogs and they live a long time, which is really cool to think that this animal here that's only about four years old, his name is Mac by the way, he's gonna be around for another 20 years being a great animal ambassador here at the Reptarium. You know Brillo, my armadillo, happens to be about three months old. I'm gonna give you a little quiz right now and you go ahead and choose from the multiple choice. How old do you think that Brillo is gonna actually live and find out later in the vlog? Certainly everybody asks me, how long do two-headed animals live? And the fact is is that obviously they don't have the same lifespan in the beginning, right? And what I mean by that is the success rate of a two-headed animal, whether it's a snake, a turtle, a gecko, whatever it is, typically that first year it's a 99.9% .9 mortality rate. They hardly ever make it past their first year. Ben and Jerry is four and a half years old. Once they hit adulthood like him and chopsticks of course too, they'll live a full life typically, right? Now a cow king again can live 20, 25 years. There was actually a two-headed snake at the San Diego Zoo. It's a corn snake that lived like 27 years. So again with Ben and Jerry only being four and a half years old, we sure hope that he's going to live at least another 15 years and hopefully if we get lucky another 20 years, it would be absolutely amazing. So again, two-headed snakes first year, not so good. After that first year and they start to get to adulthood, they'll live a normal life and hopefully these guys will be around for a long, long time. Then there's monitor lizards like my buddy Elvis, one of my best friends here at the Reptarium, no doubt about it, and they can live pretty long. I mean, monitor lizards are pretty good animals. You know, Elvis is only four years old right now and these guys can literally go up to 40 years, believe it or not, sometimes even a little bit longer if they're cared for. The big thing about monitor lizards to keep them living for a long time is to not overfeed them and get them obese, right? They go through something that's like a fatty liver disease, right? So if you get them really fat, which is really difficult not to, because they want to eat all the time, you're always like, it's hungry, it wants to eat, I better feed it some more food, right? But the truth is, is you got to make sure you pull back on the food. You also got to give it lots of variety. You don't want to give it all rodents, you don't want to give it all red meat, you want to give them some bugs, you want to give them chicken, you want to give them fish, lots of variety. The more variety you give them, the more healthy the animal's actually going to be, the longer it's going to actually live. If your monitor is walking around and its belly is just dragging, it can't lift its legs up, probably too heavy. You want it to be able to lift completely off the ground if at all possible and walk around and that's a healthy monitor lizard. And if you've got a healthy monitor lizard, they're gonna live 30, maybe 40, maybe even longer than that. Back at you with the deal that I always love. Every month I love bringing you this deal because so many people always take me up on it and you guys need to do that. And that's my friends over at Raycon. That's right, these everyday earbuds are absolutely amazing and I do use them every single day. I've been using the same pair for over two years now. They're absolutely incredible with their optimized gel tips. They're super comfortable and with a sound that is just as good as the premium brands but at half the price, Raycons are a must go. They even have a little built-in mic with a one touch you can take phone calls. I do it all the time. Literally every day on my way to work I have my Raycons in. I'm listening to self-help books because you guys know that I have some anxiety issues. These really help me out. Sometimes when I'm working I just put on music. Just get into a situation where you're not thinking about anything, you're just enjoying some music, or like I said, your favorite podcast. I like checking in, for instance, you can listen to it on the Raycons. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. Co-founded by Ray J, and they are so popular. I have literally had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have bought these, and every single person has loved them. And if you don't, listen, there's a 45-day free return policy, but trust me, out of the hundreds, probably thousand people or more that have bought them, I have not had one person return them. They have an eight-hour charge time. Eight hours, that's right. And with this little carrying case, which is really, really cool, it actually can have up to 32 hours of charge before you have to plug them back in. So if you're going out camping or something like that, or you're going on a long adventure and you don't have electricity, these guys can be an absolute lifesaver. If you need earbuds, you definitely need Raycon. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B and save 15% off your Raycon purchase. Trust me, you gotta get on these. You'll absolutely love them.
And then of course there's the pythons, right? And of course Gemma here just came out of her shed. Now we're hoping that this is a pre-ovulation shed. We know we've got follicles. We've seen Night Fairy actually breed her, but she kind of blew her cage up and she has some stuck sheds. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull her out, get her into a soak so we can get all of that shed out, make her look nice and pretty. Now, if everything goes well, a pre-ovulation shed usually means that maybe two to three weeks from the time that they pre-ovulation shed, they'll actually ovulate. You can see she's starting to distend right here. That's where it's gonna be. It's gonna look like she actually ate like, I mean like a giant pig. She just like ovulates really big. That only lasts about 12 to 18 hours. And then she goes back down and then those eggs actually drop from the ovaries into the entire oviduct, right? And they start to grow and grow and grow. And then over the next 30 to 40 days before she's actually gonna lay her eggs, it's gonna to grow to these big size eggs that reticulated pythons have. So fingers crossed it actually took this year. And we're gonna get fertile eggs from Gemma. That would be absolutely incredible. But for now, I've gotta take this girl out and be a little bit more gentle with her because she is almost gravid, right? So let's go see what she's got going on. Whoa, 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 that was not, whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world is going on? Gemma, what are you doing, girl? Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! Did you believe that right now? I have never seen that before. That's that gravidness with her. She's like, no muck with me. I don't want to be mucked with. And that's right, so I've got to be a little bit more careful with her. Holy cow. Wow. I don't know what to do here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just try to be a little cautious here. She's gearing up for another strike right now. Come on, girl. It's okay, she is the tamest snake that I've ever had. And for her to act this way is absolutely crazy. That's certainly telling me she's gearing up for an ovulation. Let's see if we can get her without getting bit. Come on, girl. Whoa! Woo! That was close. Woo, doggy. Okay, girl, whoa. Woo, she is just on fire right now. I tell you what. Come on, girl. You're okay. That was a close one right there. Woo, I gotta be careful, guys. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, whoa! Come on, not let me get her when she's, whoa. No, she's not gonna let me even get her to her. Wow, what a trip, guys, huh? Now, come on, Gemma. I think we got her now, guys. Whew. It's certainly different than Gemma usually is. That was quite interesting. Let's get her in water here. Get her some soak in here. Now, a python like Gemma, and this goes for ball pythons and most pythons, you know, 25 years is an easy thing for them, right? And some can live literally up to 40 years, with some records being over 50 years. But, wow, I tell you what, that's crazy. I mean, Gemma is usually a baby doll. I mean, you could do anything with her, but that's what happens. They get gravid, they change. They're now protective mothers, right? Now, the hopes are is that after she lays her eggs, she's gonna go back to the old Gemma, right? Because we don't want that. That was a little bit too close for comfort, but yeah. Pythons live a long time, but who doggy? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Tons of people ask me how long sloths live. Obviously, Drogo just turned four a few months ago. Believe it or not, we're almost at a year since we got him. I think in a week or two is actually the year's day that we got my guy Drogo, and I can't imagine life without him. He's such an interesting, cool animal. Drogo, I love you so much. You're such a good animal. But again, people are like, how long do they live? Well, fortunately, they'll live 20 plus years, you know, sometimes even up to 25 years, and I'm rare occasion into the upper 20. So again, four years old, we got a long way to go and one of the things I might have mentioned in the past is that we always try to get kind of younger animals here at the Reptarium that way for the next 10 15 20 years they're gonna be animals like Drogo and Saul and Bella and all my other animals they're gonna be here for people to really get to know and for us to work with and continue to socialize for a long time so yes sloths are amazing and yes they do live a long time so Drogo's gonna be with us for hey maybe another couple decades Another super popular animal here obviously is salt and of course pepper and my guy RJ, right? RJ is about 12 years old now. These guys are a little bit over two years old now and you wonder how long they live. Well, these guys are dinosaurs. You know, they've been on the planet for like 100 million years, but they don't live 100 million years, but they do live quite a long time. In captivity, they've been known to go up to 100 years. That's right. Very typically, 75 is pretty average for them and up to 100 is possible. So think about that. 98 years from now, this girl may still be around.
Now we get into red foot tortoises. Now, we already talked about Matilda living 200 plus years. Well, not all tortoises live that long. Red foot tortoises are typically like a 50, maybe possibly a 75 year animal, but these guys are under 10 years old. Our youngest ones are only like five years old. So again, they've got a long, long way to go. Red foot tortoises are amazing. And the thing that's nice about them is that I love Matilda, I love giant tortoises, but these guys are almost full grown now. Gonna barely get any bigger than this, but they're gonna still live for another 40, to 60 years, I mean, how cool is that? Tortoises are definitely some of the longest lived animals, but again, not all of them live 200 years, but hey, 75 years, that's still a long time. So if any of you guys said B, 25 plus years, you're 100% correct, that's right. Brillo being only three months old is gonna be with us for a long, long time, and he is absolutely adorable. Then of course there is Bowser. Look at this beastie animal right here. Of course an alligator snapping turtle. He's about 42 years old now and he's about 120 pounds. Now this animal can literally get up to 200 pounds and just like Matilda can live up to 200 years. Now I gotta tell you, there's a story that goes around all the time. And oftentimes, even in the back of Bowser, there's a little hole in his shell, just like this big. What happens is sometimes when they grow, they'll have little holes. So a lot of people with giant old alligator snapping turtles will tell the same story. You guys may hear it, or you may hear this in the future. They'll say that hole is from a musket ball that came from the Civil War. And every single person I know that has a giant snapping turtle seems to say the same exact thing. Now I'll be honest with you, I don't think that any alligator snapping turtles have musket balls from the Civil War, but it's a great story. It's one of those urban legends, one of those wives tales, and I'm sure if you listen long enough and you go enough places, you're gonna hear it, and then you'll think back to this video and say, oh my God, Brian was right. But yes, they are animals that can live up to 200 years. And back to my crazy curl, Gemma. Let's hope she's in a little bit of a better mood than she was before, that's for sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of the skin off. It's coming off really nicely. She's gonna look absolutely beautiful when all of this skin is off. You can see after a good soak, it's coming off really good. And she's back to her beautiful self, but definitely gonna have to keep an eye during this whole period of her ovulating and kind of growing follicles. And just her attitude is just gonna be a little bit different. And that's that hormone, you know? That's what happens. Gosh, she's such a good snake. She's usually great about getting back in the cage but today not so much there she goes and as she's crawling through I'll just go ahead and just get all that shed off of her look at how beautiful she looks that's just absolutely soothing as could be one last little area here that's got shed on it and that is it oh look at the last bit of a tail one last little bit come up let me get this last little bit boop, boop. there you go girl all right she's good so there you have it my girl Gemma, not in the greatest of mood, but now you guys know all about how long animals live here at the Reptarium, and maybe this will help you guys out. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see other big snakes and stuff like that, you can click the playlist right over here. You can do me another favor on this side, hit that subscription button, turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.